Well, you know, part of building maintenance <laughs> is there's always something that needs to be fixed, right? I've known about this stuff for a little while, not a lot. I overlooked the scrubbing, but we've got to take care of this. So this is so rotted out. It's all the way down in there. This is leaking and all the trim has come loose from the wall. We got water damage here. So it's for the washer dryers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the washer dryers. I'm gonna s probably set them over here. That's the utility room. That's where all the power is. Um, so I'm gonna have to take out this whole wall, get in there and these should be GFIs too. So we're gonna have to fix this. Shut it down first. Stop the bleeding, man. That's been late. I got another one of these. I got another one of these that's not that bad, but it's leaking. Anyways, let's get to tearing this out. We have to open this up. I've got a brand new box for this. You can tell this is the old stuff because it's got the screws, <laughs> old metal. So we will definitely open this up and get to it. Well, now that we got it all tore out, this was all soft going across through there. That's why I went ahead and cut it out because I could, anyways, might as well. It's all got to be redone. So, plumbing, I've got new boxes. I'd like to set the new boxes in the same spot. That way I can hook right up to the drain with no problem. Um, the water lines, I will probably use because this is all corroded and I don't want to reconnect to that so I'll probably use PEX A I'll probably go back to here cut the lines redo it all the way over I think it just makes more sense to do it that way the drain I'll probably cut it about right here and add a piece of pipe this is an inch and a half it's supposed to be inch and a, or two inch but it's old school we let it roll um yeah so i'll probably cut it here and go up into the box it's no big deal i'll pull these out put gfis in here not big deal the dryer vent i'll run a my little sweeper in there and clean that out but for the most part i should be able to get this installed today Drywall will take a day or two, but let me kill the main. That way I know I got waters off. Cool. So I killed the main. Water's not on. We're good to go. So, like I said, I'll cut it there and uh, run PEX A. It'd just be a lot easier to do it that way. Cool. Let's go get some parts. Well, I don't have enough fittings. So, gotta go to Home Depot.
is pretty cool. Put the little fingers on it. Good thing. Just put them on there for how thick the drywall is, basically. About a half inch. You can see them for like five eighths, if need be. You know, good distance right here. Half inch. There's three holes on one side, one want to be on the other side. So, so I can adjust that right where I need to be. So, take it apart, bro. Take it apart. and a half to two inch reducer ring. Put it in there, glue it in place, add the pipe. We got a coupling to go down here. Oh, it's pass through. How about that? I didn't know about it pass through. That's cool. Works for me. That's pass through. I don't like it much. But we'll use it. So together, clean the coupling up, slide it on, clean that up, put it up together. So if I'm a glue, what I do with the glue? It's a freaking car. Whatever. I'm going to do this before I forget. Bring that uh, inside of that pipe. That little burr off there. Okay. Because I forgot on the last one. Just make sure that pipe's cleaned up. Because when you run that cutter, it mashes. Good times. I thought I had some but I don't have any so I've run down to the shop and pick some up but I'm gonna go ahead and go to lunch first that way I can just come back hook up all the plumbing stuff because I gotta let that sit for a day before I close the wall up and yeah I saw that drywall on the other side is pretty bad but I'll have to do that repair from the other side you know what I'm saying so let's go to lunch man
That's done. Alrighty. So now our fittings for the hot and cold. Um, I'm gonna put screw on fittings on this. I'm just setting them there for now. We go ahead and get this box set in place. Check it out this week. Same thing over here as I just did there. Just far enough to catch. Just far enough. So it'll bite. So we press this on. Press this on. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it so I know I'm in far enough. Get your marker. Get your marker. I can go farther back if I want to. And pro press. Push button. Plenty red, so this is what it is, bro. Cool. So we gotta cut it here. Let's go ahead and get um we'll go get my fittings for this. Because these guys here just lock into place, just turn them to the click so I'm gonna go get the fittings out of the truck and we'll get everything taped up and get everything mounted before we go any farther cool Here, 
and I'll be able to do these fittings the rest of the way. Let me make sure I'm over far enough. Looks good to me. Okay. So let's go ahead and swell this. Let's swell it. The half inch goes down a little bit quicker. And you can still rotate it, so it's good to go. Alright, so. This is the fitting that I'm going to use. I just got to be careful with it because I had them, one of them split on me once before. So, put this little monster tape on there for well. That sucks. It has a rubber seal in there, so or a rubber boot. I just gotta get it good and tight. <clears throat> Set the place, turn it around. on it do the bottom well I'll do the top first get it on there play around bro like I said you can turn them I'm still flexible a little bit Place the blades too. Cool. <laughs> Half inch use, I gotta move a little bit quicker. <laughs> Just a little bit. Same thing. Bling bling. Hot will be a little easier because it's well. <laughs> I don't know. Hot's got a bit of a problem because the hot's in the way. Well, I can I can push it back. 
idea. Ah, it's going to have to be a white line. I don't have any red. At least there's some sort of a way to tell the difference. Yes, the you know, these fittings, they only go on, well, yeah, they only go on one way. It's got a stopper in there. So you can't put it on backwards. It's just to help make sure you're in the right spot. <laughs> Bang, all done. Drain's done, water's done. Everything's off. So I'm gonna let this sit open for a day before I put the dry bowl back in here because I want this to dry up and I'm not gonna put trim back. I'm gonna put uh, um, co-base down. Uh, so what I will do now is I'll go ahead and clean everything up, run the shop back, clean all this exit, this mess up and uh, I might even go get the little blower and set it in here overnight just to dry this because it's uh, pretty dirty, pretty wet. Cool. So I hope you learned something on this PEX A. It's it's better than PEX B because you can bend the shit bar out of it. It remembers. All done for now. On to the next thing.